we had some costly turnovers there in our last two offensive possessions that, you know, isn't really like us. We had four turnovers in the second half, and two of our turnovers come late in the fourth quarter. So, um, you know, those are situations we get put in all the time in practice. So you would like to execute them better. But I think our, our group is so mature and so experienced that, like, you don't have time to worry about that. Like, it happened, it's over, you better focus and move on to the next play. And like Hannah said, like, Gabby Marshall just comes up with big defensive plays all the time. Like, you see it time and time again for us. Um, and she doesn't get enough credit for what, what she does. She guards one of the best players in the country and really, you know, challenges, challenges her quite a bit. You know, Paige had a great game. I thought Gabby just played great defense on her, even when Paige made some tough baskets. Gabby just responded and kept going up there and guarding her. So um, I'm really proud of her. And, um, you know, I'm proud of our group for, you know, just being able to flip the page and move on to the next play. We're going to go Jeff, then Michelle, then Lindsay. Right here in front of you. Yep. Kenny Rota, WHBC Radio. Caitlin, this is for you. A lot of the talk was Caitlin versus Paige, but this was a team win tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, how important is that for the confidence of everybody moving forward and <laughs> for you as well? Yeah, I think our team's confidence is pretty good at this point in the year. Obviously, there's only one more game uh, left to go, and um, it doesn't surprise me. Like The reason we've won games all year long is because we play Iowa basketball, and that's sharing the ball, high assist numbers, low turnovers. Um, obviously, you know, would have liked to have more assists tonight, but uh, we didn't shoot the ball the greatest. We didn't, you know, things like that. And um, I don't know. I mean, I think everybody's confidence has been at, you know, an all-time high throughout the Big Ten tournament and during the NCAA tournament, and that's how it needs to be, and that's the reason we're at this point and going into the national championship game is, you know, everybody's stepping up. It's not just me. It's not just you know, one player. That's not what this is. We wouldn't be at this point right now if it was just one player. And, um, you know, everybody comes up and makes really big plays when we need them. And, you know, Sydney Falter has six offensive rebounds tonight. That's pretty incredible. Um, so I think it's just, you know, the small things. Everybody comes up and does little things that eventually, you know, changes the tide of the game and, and we're able to win. Um, I just want to know, how do you guys plan on handling South Carolina's inside dominance? Oh, well, I think the biggest thing is I haven't gone over a scouting report yet. Um, you know, I think just enjoying this win and celebrating this win. But, you know, you have 24 hours to turn the page and move on. And, um, you know, the great thing about us is we're not going to stay in one defense for too long. We're going to have a bunch of different things up our sleeves. We're going to try a bunch of different things. But you know, South Carolina has been the top of the top. They're in a, a different league. And we're going to do everything we can to try to be right there with them and um, but yeah I think the biggest thing is you know enjoy this tonight and we'll go over the scout early early in the morning I'm gonna go our far right Dion all right Dion Cash Fox Sports congratulations Hannah um, when did you realize that you needed to kick in gear offensively uh, when you saw that Caitlin was kind of struggling offensively and Caitlin this is the matchup everybody wanted to see the rematch South Carolina Iowa how do you feel about that matchup and um, that's pretty much it. We'll start with Hannah. Um, I think from the jump, I was being aggressive. Um, I thought I prepared better for this game than I did for the last, so. Yeah, I think uh, it feels like every time we're going into a game, this NCAA tournament, it's like everybody wanted to see this, just one after the next. And so I think it's good for women's basketball. I mean, you know, I think being in this moment before, I think you know, gives our group a good understanding of what to expect. Um, you know, we know what South Carolina brings to the table. We know we're going to have our hands full. Um, the way that they played tonight was incredible. Um, but, you know, it's the national championship. It's the last game of my career. It's the last game for five people on this team. So I don't think uh, motivation will be hard to come by. After we beat USC, um, one of the things that we said in the locker room was, you know, there's people we always ask you, how do you feel about winning a game like this? And sometimes um, you just can't put into words how you feel. You just have to feel it. You have to be there and you have to have been there, be a part of it. And, um, you know, the same thing applies to when you lose at this part of the season. Um, hard to explain, hard how you feel when, you know, the season ends so suddenly. Um, but we put ourselves uh, in, in position to win a game that we probably had no business even being in given the circumstances that we work with. So when you say, well, you were lucky to be here given everything, 
but in the moment when you're trying to win the game and you don't win the game, you don't think about you were lucky to be here. You just think about we had an opportunity to win this game and we didn't. And, um, you know, Iowa won the game and, and <clears throat> they get to go on and we get to go home. At this time, we'll open it up for our student athletes. I ask that you raise your hand um, and ask and await the microphone reaching you. We're going to start in the back with the gentleman in the gray, and I see you. Uh, Dan Lobby, Cleveland.com. Um, Aaliyah, were you given an explanation uh, about the foul call, and, and what was your view of it? No, I wasn't given an explanation. There was no real time to get an explanation for it. Uh, my point of view is pretty clean. We'll go next to Jake on our right-hand side. Yep, you're right there. One, one up. Yeah, Jake Trotter from ESPN. For, for all the players, what did you make of, of the screen call from your, your vantage points on that play? Um, well, we just had a play. Um, I thought we were going to run it. Um, I thought we executed it well. We were going to get a shot off. The whistle blew. Um, I didn't see it. It was in the rear of me. I was just trying to come off the screen. Um, everybody can make a big deal of that one single play, but not one single play wins a basketball game or loses a basketball game. I feel like there was a lot of mistakes that I made um, that could have prevented that play from even being that big or causing the game. Um, so yeah, you you can look at one play and say, oh, that was like, oh, that that killed us or that hurt us. But we should have done a better job. I should have done a better job of making sure we didn't leave the game up to chance like that and leave the game up to one bad call going our way and that deciding it. So yeah, maybe that was a tough call for us. But I feel like I could have done a better job of preventing that from even happening. Tip my cap. That's that, that's a call you certainly could rant and rave about. And Paige Becker says she should have done a better job. It, it doesn't come down to one play. That that one call that did prevent the opportunity for a shot that could have won. Uh, they didn't have that chance. They did have a chance to get a, a rebound off a missed free throw. They did not. And uh, there are a lot of things that are cooked into why they come up two points short. It's UConn's 23rd trip to the Final Four, which is astounding, more than any other school. Huskies 12-11 and 11 in the national semis, including losses in five of their last six, as opposed to 12-1 and one in the title game. UConn still looking to add to its total since the last 